Hello, welcome to this video of the Golf GTD. This is a March 2016 registered vehicle. Very, very clean. Uh, three door as well, the ultra rare three door. It's also got the 19 inch alloy wheels. It's in the uh, nice dark grey metallic. It's got the LED lights, as you can see. LED lights. Very, very clean condition. We'll start on this corner. There's nothing to report. One of the best we've seen. All the alloys are immaculate, all the tyres are really good as well. So it's a 181 brake horsepower, it's a front wheel drive, uh, turbo diesel engine, a 2 litre DSG Auto as well. There's nothing at all to report. Front and rear parking sensors, reverse camera as well. All the paintwork is immaculate. Got the adaptive cruise control. There's the radar sensor there for the adaptive cruise control. Can break this in good condition. Bonnet immaculate, the front windscreen is very good condition, no major chips or cracks anywhere. Wing mirror as well, very clean. That door immaculate, and it's just been professionally uh, machine polished as well. As there's no tar spots on the bottom of the doors, absolutely immaculate and spotless. All the paintwork is the same shade, there's no uh, off shade panels anywhere at all. Very, very good, even the roof, immaculate. Okay, let's start with the boot. Let's open up the boot. First thing you'll notice, it's got the uh, dual level four, so that uh, boot can be lowered, like so. Wait a minute. Can't do it with one hand. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh. There we go. There we go, so it's dual level four there as well, so it can be lowered. Got the spare um, antifreeze and the uh, oil there as well. And this has got the Dyno Audio music system or speaker system. So that's the subwoofer there, that's the plug, that's the slimline spare wheel and the tool kit as well. All there. All along there is nice and clean. The top of the bumper is in good condition as well. Split fold rear seats with a through load as well, so that can be open and push through. All up here is nice and clean and tidy. Let's go to the uh, passenger side door. Switch the hazards off. I put the hazards on earlier. So, free door of course. Everything is immaculate. There's nothing out of the ordinary at all to report. Even the door shuts. There's no trap seat belt marks or worn rubber trims at all. This seat there is immaculate. No wear on the bolster. No cigarette burns or anything like that. Doesn't smell of smoke, doesn't smell of dogs. Three rear headrests, three rear seat belts as well. It's also got the child Isofix anchoring points and it's also got the fold down armrest, which is said we've got the through load. So if we pull that down, we can get through there. That's the through load. So three headrest. Look at the condition of the uh, seats in the back, immaculate. Very clean, no cigarette burns, no McDonald's chips being forced in there or anything like that. All very clean. Black roof lining of course, some drinks holders there. All the carpets are clean, backs of the seats are clean as well. No marks at all, no scratches on the plastic down here. All immaculate. This is the driver's door. Driver's door, very clean, once again. It's got the folding mirrors as well, electric folding mirrors. Make sure those work uh, as well, so they fold in like so. The other one folds the other one as well. And then obviously you can just turn that and they fold out like so. So folding mirrors, electric windows of course, all the carpeted door pockets. Aluminium pedals, all very clean. 
All this area down here is nice and clean as well. And the door shut here as well. All clean. Driver's seat in good condition. No wear on the bolster at all. And the base of the seat immaculate. Just push this seat forward. Just check out the back seats and the carpets this side. That's all nice and clean. The air vents at the back there, they're all complete as well, they're not broken. The seats go forward and backwards, so the wires not, or the cables not snapped or anything like that. They're all in fully working condition. Okay, let's get in. First thing you'll notice is it's got a sat nav of course, and if I put it into reverse like so, it's got the reverse camera. So that's the reverse camera, put that back into park and it goes off. Uh, it's also got the uh, driver's mode, so if you press that, it's got the usual eco, normal, sport and individual modes. You can change those like so. So that's the driving modes, and it is touchscreen as well. Touchscreen as well, it's also got obviously the radio, which is DAB. You've got the DAB radio, of course, and you've also got the option of the app connect, which you have to unlock, unfortunately. You have to unlock that one, and then this one here, the carnet, same again, it comes here, you are using online service, you've got to be on the internet uh, as well to make that work. Heated front seats down here, look. So two front heated seats. Uh, it's got the dual zone climate control, so you've got left and right heater settings. Uh, DSG automatic gear lever there. Uh, parking sensors, it's also got parking sensors. So if we just cancel that. So if I go to reverse, you'll see that, that, that comes up. So if you don't want to use that, you can press that button there and it goes to, hang on, wait a minute, oh, no, hang on, let's do that again. There we go, you can press that, it's part pilot, this has got part pilot. Okay, and then down here, USB, aux input, and you've also got a cable there as well, which can plug into the, yeah, it can plug in up here as well, you've got the SD1, SD2, and a CD slot there, the locking wheel nuts there. In here, you've got auto hold assist as well, uh, 12 volt, you've got your drink holder which is all nice and clean, you've got an armrest here uh, which is just storage, there's no plugs inside there, it's just storage. You've got automatic dimming rear view mirror there as well. On the steering wheel it's full lever with the grey stitching there, GTD emblem, and it's got adaptive cruise control meaning it will keep a safe distance between the car in front of you uh, if you set it to the distance. So it's got adaptive cruise control. Uh, then you've got the paddle shifters there, the up and down, or down and up, should we say. And then today's mileage is 95.898. Okay, uh, what else have we got? Automatic lights, two keys, two remote central locking keys as well. Uh, and the best part about this vehicle is it has got full service history, 11 services, phenomenal. 11 services at 95,000 miles and these service intervals are every 10,000 or 20,000 depending if you use the long life service oil or not. So most of its life this vehicle has used the long life service, believe it or not. So, but they've only done less than 10,000 miles on that. So it's been highlighted. So long life is 20,000 miles or two years. Uh, oil change service by the dealers, long life oil used. So next service will be 20,000 miles. Well, it was at 9,000 miles, that one, in 2016, uh, when it was six months old. Maybe it not six months, it was 9,000 miles, ready for service. Uh, next service, again, oil change. This was normal oil, uh, oil change inspection. Also had the dust and pollen filter. That was at 20,000. That's by a VW dealer at 20,000. Next one, another VW dealer, and this time it had a long life service, this one, long life oil. Uh, and that was at 29,000 miles. Then the next one from that, another VW dealer at 36,000 miles. So it only did 36. Also long life oil used as well on that one. So 36 VW dealer. Next one, 38,000 miles. So only 2,000 miles and they've used long life oil again. So yeah, they've serviced that one. That's at uh, Newcastle. Then another VW dealer and this was the um, Again, long life oil, and then all the filters there, diesel fuel filter, air filter, dust and pollen, that was at 46,000 miles. So then, uh, VW Specialist, this one, Volkswagen Center, uh, this one was 
normal oil uh dsg oil as well air filter as well that was at 53,000 miles 53 next one was a normal independent that's a car care center just a normal oil change that one that's at 64 in 2021 and then the main deal of this one i remember because this is when we sold the vehicle was it this one no sorry 2022 so the year before so the chap that part exchanged this last time so we sold this vehicle before uh and obviously it's come back long life oil at the vw dealer uh that was at newcastle uh and the tooth belt was done so they did the timing belt kit at 68,000 miles that's the vw main dealer long life oil used 68,000 so the next service should be 88 but it wasn't the next one was 77 and that was also long life oil again and that was the main dealer at sheffield so that's where we had it serviced so we took this one there uh, at the same time we suggested the buyer said oh can we have the dsg oil chain so we did that at our local garage we stamped that because we did that one so that was the uh, dsg oil service we did that in January 2023 at uh, 77,000 miles and then it's just been serviced uh, at 95,000 miles by the chap that's uh, part of it as well sold it back to us basically at 95,000 miles in August that it was serviced and that is it so we've got full services 11 services we've got the log book here as well we've got some receipts for the VW dealer for the book pack everything is here HPI clear as well uh, last thing to do is look under the bonnet, so we will pop the bonnet, which is down here. Let's look under there. You've seen the photos of the tyres, so all the tyres are really good. Under the bonnet, there we've got the TDI engine, all clean. The antifreeze obviously is nice, bright red as well. All the screen wash has been topped up. All very clean nothing out of the ordinary at all to report okay this vehicle part exchange welcome so if you've got a part exchange please let us know the reg number and mileage of your car and we'll give you a quotation uh also uh, finance is available this vehicle uh, and this can be financed up to five years it's 2016 as well and uh, this will come with one year warranty by warranty wise so uk's largest warranty company and that'll be the platinum cover so it's the high level cover as well and that's parts and labor 100 percent parts and labor okay and that is about it so any more questions please let us know and we're happy to answer your questions and then uh, hope to see you soon thanks for watching